let's simplify some fractions. So first example, let's do 30 over 42. 30 over 42. Now our personal technique I like to use is to take 30 over 42 and practice my times tables in the background. I know that 30 is equal to 5 times 6 and I know that 42 is equal to 7 multiplied by 6. Uh, whoops. 7 multiplied by 6. So since 5 times 6 is equal to 30 and 7 times 6 is equal to 42, I've just rewritten the fraction here in terms of its mul uh, a couple multiples that, add, that come up to become the fraction at the end. Now notice the 6 is common in this fraction over here, so I can cross it out and be left with just a simply a 5 over a 7. And therefore we, ref we refer to 5 sevenths as the simplified fraction form of 30 over 42. Now the more common trick I see among my students, or technique among my students I should say, is to look at 15 and 25 and determine the greatest common factor of 15 and 25. Think about it for a second, and if you think about it hard, you might be able to land upon the number 5. 5 is a number that divides both into 15 and 25. So my students will write, divide 5, divide 5, to indicate that they're dividing the top and the bottom by 5. Uh, the 15 divided by 5 yields 3, and 25 divided by 5 yields 5. So the answer for this one is 3 over 5, or 3 fifths.